Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily customize premium wedding titles. Uh, but first of all, what you need to do, you need to install all the fonts used in this project. And uh, uh, links for uh, all the fonts are given in the separate file. And after you install the, uh, all the fonts, uh, you open up the project and as you can see we have uh, opened main intertitle uh, composition. And this is uh, just an uh, intertitle uh, that you saw on the preview movie. And in case if you want to use it, uh, I leave it in the project so you can edit it by double clicking on the uh, main intertitle composition uh, and type your uh, some uh, own, uh, own text. Okay. And uh, let's go back to our main titles. Uh, as you can see in the project panel, we have the main folder and the three subfolders. First of all, you click on the 02 final comps. It's uh, our final composition that needs to be rendered after we uh, make all the uh, customizations. Uh, so we open up this folder again and uh, let's uh, uh, pick uh, some title. Let's pick uh, title 16, okay? And as you can see, if you scrub, you can see uh, title in action. What's going on, okay? And uh, first of all, we need to edit the text. And to do that, we can click dou uh, double click and on the uh, title 16 edit in the composition, or we can go to the uh, 01 edit comps folders and find uh, exactly the same title 16. Double click, and uh, we can uh, type our own uh, t uh, text. Okay, so we double click, type let's say for example 2017. Then we double click on the first name, type uh, Jasmine, okay. Then type Andrew, and uh, at the bottom we can type our uh, new slogan or some uh, quotes, uh, whatever. So let's, uh, for example, type wedding memories, memories, okay. V and let's scrub. <coughs> so as you can see, uh, everything works perfectly. In case if you don't like this, like a uh, zoom out uh, from scaling from the uh, bigger title to the smaller, or you can adjust it. Uh, you see we have a scale controller. You click U on the keyboard, and you see it's scaling for 145 percent to 100. You can scale from the bigger size to the smaller, or you can uh, remove it at all. Uh, so it's uh, up to your taste, okay? So after we make uh, uh, all the editing to the text, we're going to the uh, title 16 uh, render me composition. It's our final composition. And uh, here we have a color controller at the top of the stack, so ev every title have the same structure. So keep it in mind. We have the color controller, click a free on the keyboard, and uh, we have our all the controllers. So uh, what you need to know uh, at the top, uh, we have uh, element uh, colors, and um, then we have text colors. Uh, depending on the uh, the title, we have this uh, more or less uh, element colors controllers. So uh, in this case, we have just the one. So if you click, you can see we can recolor those two lines. So if you scrub, you see those two lines. We click, and uh, we can recolor it. Let's say to the uh, this kind of color, creamy color. Okay. Then we have the text color one. Let's sample this color. Text color two. Sample the same. Text color three. So each text have uh, uh, own uh, color controller. So we are sampling all the colors. Then we have the particles color. So you can change the uh, the color of the particles. As you can see, everything works perfectly. Uh, as you can see, let's change it to the um, golden. Okay. Then we can change also the particles wind x and the y. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, in this uh, current example the particles going from the uh, from the right to left. If you want to change the direction, you just uh, see the scrub value and uh, see the particles going a little bit more up, then go 
set the particle y to uh, y to the zero. So it's going from the right to left. You can again scrub the value so it's going a little bit down. For example, okay. Then we can uh, also uh, just for uh, in case if you want to remove the particles and you want just to like uh, those slight effects at the beginning and it's going to the uh, color, so you can uh, switch off the particles or enable or disable. Then you can also change the light leak hue. Uh, so as you can see at the beginning uh, on each title we have like uh, those uh, light leaks uh, effects. So depending on your title you can change uh, the hue. So uh, you scrub the wheel and uh, we're changing the hue of this title let's say to the uh, bluish so it's going from the bluish then going to this or click on control Z to undo this then we have ability to change the light leak lightness uh, what the uh, what this control does it's if you scrub if you can see we can make it if you scrub to the left we uh, make it darker most like a dark and uh, if you scrub to the right uh, it's make it white so it's like uh, if you want to remove this light leak uh, at all you can just scrub the light leak lightness and uh, Going from the white and uh, and uh, uh, then uh, goes to the uh, to the color that you make at the beginning. And then we have the light leak saturation. You can make it more uh, vivid, more saturated, by scrubbing to the right or or uh, just to desaturate, make it like a grayscale. So as you can see, it's like a grayscale effect and it goes to the color. So we have uh, this control uh, light leak uh, saturation does this uh, uh, thing, and uh, last but not least we have the background on off. So by the default, as you can see on the alt transparency alpha, we don't have any transparency. So if you want to use uh, with the alpha render this with the alpha channel, you need to click uh, switch off the uh, uh, background, this this kind of background that at the bottom of the stack and uh, then render this file uh, or if you want to use uh, this um, background you just click on the uh, this check mark and as you can see everything works properly properly and uh, then after the uh, all the customization you can also if you know uh, know how uh, to work with a particular you can select the particles file and uh, make some changes here evenly to the particles but uh, it's like a more uh, uh, advanced uh, uh, it's uh, for more advanced users if you don't know how to customize a part particular please don't uh, touch anything uh, this uh, layer okay and uh, uh, after make uh, after you make all the customizations, uh, uh, you can render this uh, title out. So you need to go to the composition, add to render queue, then uh, go to the best settings, with the best full, go to the lossless, and set this to the let's say quick time. Set the RGB plus alpha. Set the uh, switch audio off. Or option animation. Uh, if you don't want to uh, compress the uh, the uh, title, and uh, I think it's done. You're ready to re render th uh, this out. And I think this is it. Uh, I hope this video tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.